How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in this video you're gonna learn how to play You Wreck Me as recorded by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers on guitar. Now this song isn't too advanced but it's a lot of fun to play. We're gonna use primarily open position chords and one bar chord that comes in at the bridge. I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step so when you're done with this lesson you'll be able to play right along with the original recording. But before we dive into it, I want to hook you up with a gift right away and put something in your hand. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack. And these are some digital downloads that you'll get as handouts that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching the videos, you're going to get so much more out of being able to follow along with a good tab. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play You Wreck Me as recorded by Tom Petty on guitar. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a capo on the first fret. So I've got my capo there. Now of course you could play this song without a capo, but if you want to be able to play along with the recording, you're going to want to put that right there on the first fret. Now we're going to start off with this main figure to the song, and it just uses three chords. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. So I'm starting out on a D chord here, and I'm playing from the fourth string down. Open, two, three, two. I'm going to strum that chord once, and then I'm going to go to an A chord. And this is a rock style A chord, so I'm just using one finger here. I'm using my index finger to bar that A chord. And then we're going to go to an E chord. This is just your standard E. We're going to play all six strings. Open, two, two, one, open, open. And sometimes I play that chord with two fingers like that by doing a little bar there. But it's your standard E chord. So all together, we're going to go D, A to E. And you can start by just doing all down strums. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. And the rhythm would be counted like this. One and two and three and four and. So we're strumming the D on the one. One and two and. Then the A on the and of two. One and two and three and. And then four is the E chord, four and. So try counting that out loud, the one and two and three and four and, and go one and two and three and four and. And then that's gonna ring over to the next measure. So it's a two bar figure. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and D, A, E. It's so cool, right? It's just three chords, but it sounds so awesome. So one, two, and three, Then from there, you can add more strums, like And that's just one, and two, and three, and four, and just going back and forth now with my strum hand in a typical eighth note rhythm. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and two, and three, and four, and. Then from there, so that's our intro, we do that four times. Then we do the same thing, but we just break it down a little bit, like a little quieter, maybe a little palm muting, and a little lighter with the strum hand. Four times, and that's Tom Petty singing away there. Then we go to, and those are the words, rescue me. So what happens is after we start the verse, we do D, A, E four times. D, A, E, D, A, E, D, A, E. Then we go G, D, A two times. Okay, so this G that I'm playing is a rock style G. And these are the kind of chords that I teach in my essential rock guitar system. And they're just ways of playing open position chords but they sound great with distortion. So here I'm playing a G without my index finger. Then I go to D, then A. 
same rhythm and one and two and three and four and one and two back to the first part one and two times then we hit the pre-chorus okay and if you're having trouble just click the link below where you can get the tab here we're gonna go g two three four g two three four a two three four a two three four and then we go chorus Back to that main figure. Then we go back and repeat everything again. Coming out of the second chorus, we go on to the bridge. And the bridge goes like this. One, two, three, four. figure there. So uh, a little different section here for the bridge. We're gonna go C to G, C to G, and that's that's like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three four. So that's our rhythm. Bum, 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 bum. Then we do the same thing but we add in some bar chords here. We're we're gonna go B sus four to B, and that's just two four four, adding the pinky for the sus and then taking it off. So all together we do each of those sections twice. So. Next part. Main figure. Then we have the last part, and this is the ending figure, which plays this part four times. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. So this is just D to A, D to A, then E, E. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And we do that four times. We end on the E. Congrats on making it through this lesson. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna give you some exclusive digital downloads that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below. Let me know what I should teach here next on the channel. And if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmclennan.com. I've got a ton of great resources on there as well. Thanks for your support here on the channel, hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing, all that stuff. Really appreciate you. We'll see you in another video real soon.